Well, Yankee great Yogi Berra once said it's deja vu all over again. The Buffaloes <laughs> at 1-9, and nine, and they fall again, 38-3 to three to this one, as they lose to the Washington Huskies here at Folsom Field in the second-to-last game of the season, along with Larry Zimmer. I'm Mark Johnson. Well, partner, I guess if we're looking for the silver lining in a dark cloud, they played well for a half. They're only down 7-0 at the intermission, but, boy, did it fall apart in half number two. Yeah, I, I thought the uh, team came out and, uh, you know, played with Washington toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, Washington scored, what, with about a minute to go in the half to, right. to make it 7 to nothing. Colorado comes out. Out, kicks off uh, to them in the third quarter, uh, hold them uh, three, three and out. But then on a punt, uh, it inadvertently hit a player on the shoulder. Washington ends up with the ball, a short field, touchdown, then a fumble, short field, <laughs> touchdown, touchdown, game and, over. And uh, game over, yeah. Yeah. Buffalo, there's a fragility about this team right now, and you kind of understand it when you're talking about a 1-10 in football team. When there is adversity, and there's always going to be adversity in a college football game, they can't respond at all anymore. Uh, they, they, they can't. And, uh, you know, and, and the thing that bothers me, uh, we talked last week about how the offense had turned the corner and uh, hmm. Powell had the big running game. And, you know, one of my keys was that Powell, Abron, and company uh, had to be able to run the ball on a team, arguably one of the worst brush defenses in the Pac-12. And they didn't do that. They, I mean, they, they had no offense today. No, there was no consistency. They kept walking to safety up, did the Huskies, which made it, you know, the Buffaloes being outnumbered up front, they right. couldn't run it, and they certainly couldn't pass the ball. In fact, Connor Wood got the start for the injured Dick Kirschman. He goes three of six for memory serves, 11 yards, throws two interceptions. Now, the game's still close. In fact, it was scoreless at that point in time, and so I think John Emery thought, hey, we've got a chance here. He went to Jordan Webb. Right. Jordan, Jordan came in, didn't play Awful. In fact, I didn't think his receivers helped him all that much no. in this ball game. But Connor McCoy couldn't throw the ball either. Yeah, it was it was a little bit of both. Uh, you know, he had Casa open one time, threw it over his head. He had a couple of other times. But I agree, he had some drops out there on passes, particularly early when he first came in. Uh, his receivers didn't help him. Well, the Buffaloes only have one more opportunity. Never in the history of this great building in which we stand, Folsom Field, which opened in 1924, the Buffaloes ever not won a home game. They've not done so yet this year. The last time they went winless at home, they went 0-1-2 in 1920. They're not going to make history this year. Are they got Utah yeah. next week? Go Buffs, beat the Utes. That's all I can <laughs> say. So, so I, I just soon am not making that kind of history, Mark. Yep. That'll be the mantra this week. In fact, it's come down to one final game. That is a 1 o'clock game. Yeah, it's a day after Thanksgiving. Yes, the team wearing reds coming in. Not quite the Nebraska Cornhuskers, though. It's a Utah team that has been rather mediocre this season. We'll hit there at 11.05 at our flagship 8.50 KOA. Our network affiliates at 1135. The kickoff in the finale of 2012. It's been a long season. As the Buffaloes take on the Utes of Utah, looking for that elusive home victory, which they have not gotten one yet this year. Final score, 38-3. The Buffaloes fall to the Washington Huskies. For Larry Zimmer, I'm Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us on our Buffs recap here on 850KOA.com.